give us a clap? Do we clap and still? Mm, no, because I can actually, yeah, I can just sync it now, but. Hey, <laughs> that, that's a clap. <laughs> All right. uh, welcome to Susie and Kathy's kids. <laughs> Kathy and Susie's kids. <laughs> Kathy and Susie's kids. Uh, I like it. Hey, this is Matthew. And Jordan. And we're coming in with uh, our <laughs> guest tonight. What? No, no, no. You make sure you're talking to Mike now. All right. Let's just redo that over again because we just. Yeah, that was totally weak. Okay. All right. You got to say it's uh, welcome to Kathy say. and Susie's kids. Hey, this is Matthew Brooks. Jordan Duron. We're here tonight live with our good friend, Nick Cook. <laughs> What's going on? A.K.A. Vandal. Hey, Nick. Nico Vandal. Mm. So we've been trying to get you on this podcast for a while now, man. Or video cast or whatever we're going to s- decide to call it. Yeah. Uh, but so glad to have you, finally. We're glad to be here. Um, we've brought some some of the finest drinks. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Hops and Growlers. Shout out to Scott. Yeah, thank you, Scott. Um, anyway, man, I think we wanted <laughs> to kind of get you out here, uh, get you to tell your story a little bit. Yeah. Talk about yeah. some art. Because that's near and dear to us all. Oh, yeah. Always. Um, yeah, so basically, it uh, it's funny how it even began. It was... Uh, what do you ask? Right. I'm, I'm glad you asked yeah. me that. Now I can always clear the table. It, uh, it basically was just me as a kid being bored. And I was like, man, I really like destroying stuff. And at the time, you know, um, I'll never forget it. It was... Uh, I was riding with my mom to go to the mall, and then I saw this tag on the side of, like, um, it was in D'Iberville, and it just said S-I-K-E. It said psych. And um, to me, it, w- it was such clean letters. And I remember, like, it stood out, and I looked at it, and I just stared at it as we rode by, and I was like, that was pretty cool. And I was like, so someone just spray-painted that. that that's kind of weird. And then whenever we got closer to the mall, I kept seeing the same name over and over and over. I'm like, this guy's everywhere. And I was like, who's writing this everywhere? So then I started like actually like kind of like getting involved with it. And there was a, uh, there was one guy, I don't know if y'all remember him, Steven Driggers, uh, back in the day. I feel like it sounds familiar. Yeah, it sounds familiar. It, it was seventh grade and he used to, he, he tagged everything. And I was like, wait a minute. And he, I think he was like, he was from somewhere, but he, he tagged all the time. And uh, I was like, so tell me about this. Like, what, what is it? He's like, yeah, man, you just got to steal paint. And I was like, you have to steal it. He's like, yeah, you have to steal it. And I was like, all right, well, so I never stole it. I I, I was I didn't want to, I didn't want to get in trouble. <laughs> so I went I, I went to my mom's like little shed that she had, and I got like some busted up Krylon paint, and I would just go into the backyard, and I always started doing that, and then um, eventually like you, you kind of like hey like there's a warehouse by St. Martin East Elementary. I gotta go back over there. And I gotta tag it. Garbage, complete garbage. But I was so proud of it. I was so proud of it, and um, just from that, yeah, like uh, it um. I just got into the whole uh, lifestyle of that, even like in seventh grade. Um, and yeah, it was basically destroying people's property. And uh, there, there are certain rules to it, um, as in like, as in doing graffiti. But fast forward later on in life, and whenever y- y'all know the whole story of Hunter Bickham, yeah. as a bride check, all that, we all went out tagging. My, my thing is, when you said you started out, like when you started like testing with painting, I mean, yeah. How often did you paint? That's the question. How many things did you tag in a in a like say a month? What'd you do in a month? So so it was it was like my mom. Shout out to mom. You're the best. I love you. You're my biggest. She's supporter. amazing. I love Anna Cook. Ah uh, yeah. You are yes. my rock. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Okay, I'll, I'll cheers to that. So uh, Spears. Um. So basically, uh, she um she she knew what I was doing. Um. And my my next door neighbor that lived right behind me was wall so we had an alleyway and uh, in the alleyway it, it was ours it was it was my fence and his fence and I'm like dude I'm gonna tag every day and that's all I did like I, I quit riding my bike around I quit doing whatever I literally just my mom she would go to Walmart and we would just buy every color whatever and then I, I basically just painted and we're talking like wall, this regular paint. This, I mean, Walmart. Just, but it was so bad. You knew nothing about tips or any of that. No, nothing. I, I knew nothing about anything. I would just like what I would what? do. What I would do is it's like I go online and then I see like these tags and then I'm like I'm I, I gotta I gotta basically what they call is biting and you would just steal the style and completely replicate it on the walls until you actually start like like okay well I'm starting to get the structure of letters and stuff like that 
And then you're like, all right, well, I'm going to come up with like a name. And of course, everyone wants to be Blade or something. And, uh, nice. Everyone wants to be right. Like everyone wants to have a cool name like that, like Spike. And uh, yeah, it was just um, Nathan Potts, Wa. Um, we all would go into the back and we would paint back there. And I remember one night stood out where it was super late at night. And my mom's like, where are you at? I'm like, um, well, uh, I'm just in our alleyway. She's like, that's cool because it's literally a couple feet away from the house. So I know where you're at. I know you're not tagging on someone else's property. This is cool. So I literally had my own art gallery already in seventh grade. And, and that, that, that's what was so cool. And then shout out to Richard Hilliard being the next door neighbor to us then because I remember he would always go, like, oh, man, y'all are going to get in trouble for this. And now he's a cop. So it's <laughs> 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 is he still a Biloxi? He's still a Biloxi. Yeah. He is still holding it the down. Dude. Yeah, he, he's he's good people too, man. He's he's awesome. But it, it's funny though because now whenever he sees me, you know, he's like, it's just crazy. I used to watch you spray paint in the backyard, and now you're you're getting paid to do it. <laughs> and it's and it's funny because like I I love I love doing it now. I don't even I don't I don't even have to do it illegally. Like it, it, as as fun as it was, and, and it is. It's the best rush ever. It's it's great. Like hey, drop me off, and we used to oh dude. Oh, I miss them days. So it's like we would just like all like huddle up in one car and then someone would just drop us all off. And it's like, hey, I'm going to drive down the road. You literally only have about a minute and do what you can on that wall. We destroyed like I, I, I uh, it sucks. We did so much damage in one summer. I think they accumulated. It was all the way from Pensacola <laughs> to Slidell. And it was $50,000 with the damage that. Yeah, so whenever the cop came to me, like, they, they arrested me at school. Yeah, I remember that. Right, right. Yeah. They came and got me, and it was so funny because, like, it was it was me, Hunter, and uh, Brooke Dellinger, and we were we were sitting out at, at uh, lunch. Or not lunch, it was, it was at his break. And um, I remember seeing a Biloxi Police Department cop, and then I saw a, uh, it was a Harrison County Sheriff, or it was Jackson County. And they were at the school, and I was like, hey, Hunter, like, how funny would it be if... They were here for us. And we kind of like laughed it off. Well, I go sit down in Miss Perkins class and it was uh, Coach Holloway. He just peeks his head in and he does like this little kind of like, he does one of those things where it's kind of like you're cheating on a test. It's like, yeah, he's here. It's like he kind of like makes eye contact with you <laughs> for like a second and then looks away. And then I was like, do it again. Dude, dude it, like, I'm, I'm looking know, at, it, he, he just, he looks in, he's like, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> and I was like, and I knew it, and I knew it, and I, I knew it, and I was just like, I was like about to like start opening up my book and get ready, and then I just instantly closed my folder. I was like, oh, it's about to go down, huh? And then he kind of like leaned over to Miss Perkins. He's like, I need Nicholas Cook to get all his stuff or whatever. Well, the best part about all this is that whenever I walk into the office, okay, and you have like all these, you know, aides or whatever, and uh, all these workers for the school, excuse me, that. They're like, oh my god, someone's getting arrested. Some, what did they do? They killed someone. Nosy. Yeah. So, oh god. But whenever I walk in there, my folder that I had was completely covered with tags and graffiti and like colored markers and everything. So it was literally that. That was the best evidence because yeah, they even said no it goes. It. Well, there he is, right there. We know who we, we got him. We got him, guys. I was like, yeah. Osama bin Laden, we got him. Like, <laughs> it was that. It was it, serious. They were proud about it, and it was so funny because the guys, like, I remember they were like, "Yeah, man, good job, good job." And I'm like, "Y'all are really like proud about this." A couple of high school kids. Yeah, and I was like, "Dude, like, y'all." I remember at the time before they even came and got me, I knew it was going to happen eventually. I just didn't want it to, but I knew it was going to come because they were already doing like the news. Um, it, we were on like the actual like six o'clock news or whatever. It was like. Uh, graffiti there's a gang around here these guys and that was are, years i mean that was a while back it was 2004 it yeah was the summer of 2004 yeah i'll never forget it because that whole oh see this is what That's, this is that was before katrina right oh, absolutely so all the buildings that i got in trouble for <laughs> <laughs> no, weren't no, there the weren't there whenever they were like well hey you have to pay restitution i'm like on a building that doesn't stay in there so i yeah but i mean still like ultimately like what what i was doing that, hold on, let's go back to that though. So, <laughs> it happened in 04, 05, Katrina came. And they still wanted you to pay restoration or restitutions on all of it. Absolutely. And it was to probably to the business owners or was it to the city? Or how did that <clears throat> work? See, well, this is the cop. The, it, it was nice actually, like meeting the cops. Like, I could tell, like, you're just doing your job. Right. You know what I mean, yeah. like, you're hired to 
investigate this gang that is destroying everything, that is tagging so much. And they were just said, a lot of graffiti is popping up around Biloxi, uh, around uh, the View Marche area and all that. And that's exactly where we would hang out because there was a an apartment um, that we used to always basically, like me and Hunter basically stayed there. It was uh, Aaron, our friend Aaron. He had an apartment, and he did not care if we stayed the night. We stayed there every single weekend. So what happens is, is us being night owls, we would stay up all night and tag until the sun came up. And I was like, hey, like, look, I just drew this really cool picture. I really want to paint it on a building across the road. Cool. And we really weren't that smart about it. Right. But <clears throat> it all comes full circle, man. And that's why this whole thing is very humbling and, and it's still to me to this day uh, I still just shake my head I'm like I never would have thought it was going to get to where it is now because the same place Howard Avenue for instance that that the whole area this is the part now where I'm actually getting paid to do murals and I'm giving back to the same city that I destroyed so it, it it's it's all full circle and that's why whenever they asked me I said absolutely Sign me up. I know that. I mean, you do that a lot. For, you're real big in the community. It's crazy. It, it, it's, it, but, but I love Biloxi. Biloxi is, I, don't, I, I, I never even lived in Biloxi, but well, I live in Cedar Lake, but it's like, I'm talking about like just downtown Biloxi. It's cool giving back to that same exact area. It's a very historic area. And it is. I know they've got a lot of pictures of downtown Howard Avenue. I know you've done. A, a, I love that theater really there. One. Yeah. But, uh, the Sangre, yeah. yeah, and that's so much potential there too. Right, you right. know, uh, to my knowledge, that there is somebody that's bought the Crest Building and mm-hmm. the Barks Building, and they're yeah. supposed to be doing some renovations on the inside of that. Provide <clears> some housing, I think, some uh, higher end apartments upstairs. And, Absolutely, and I think they're still wondering what they're going to do with Crest, but there is some talk about possibly bringing that back. Well, it, it, it's it's funny that um, I, I'll actually I've been hanging out at the Sandbar that's on Howard. Love that place. I love it. Do, I, Shout out to Sandbar. Shout out, to Sandbar. Yeah, love you. Shout out love Chester. You. Yeah. You, this is the plug. So <laughs> it's like, so basically, like, we've been hanging out there, and whenever I was telling them, like, um, yeah, I did a mural that's right next to the Wayward Kraken, and they're like, well, you can walk there. So we all just walked there. We, we were looking at the mural, told them about, like, what, what the picture was of, of the cassette girls and the history of that. And, um, and I said, like, it was really cool. Like, I was really happy to do that mural. Like, I love – Riding down that road. It's so cool to me because I can still see it whenever I sit at that stoplight and I just look over and I just see like four women staring at me. I'm like, there they are. And guess what? It's still riding out. Like it's not even dissed. It's not even like painted over. Um, and Biloxi took pride in that. Like it was act- it was really cool painting it. And then you have three Biloxi police department officers stopping and checking on me every 15 minutes who happened to be Roderick, I Aaron love Smith. Dude, so- you know, like all them, and then uh, I was just like, and, and those, those, great. Are the, those are the homies, That's, you know. Yeah, and they're like, there's, there's a ton of them that are cops now, and they're great people, and you just know they're great people when you see them out. You're like, disrespect for them because you grew up with them, and then you see them out there, and they really, they're great. I mean, it's it's a group of them. It's what uh, Robert, mm-hmm. Robert Johnette, yeah, Roderick, Josh Rife, Aaron Smith, Aaron Smith. Uh, yeah, you got you got do do old Drew Calendar. Yeah, Drew's on there. Yeah. Did he? Is he? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so it's like, and it's funny because I'm like, man, like, I never would have thought that that was the career that they were going to go with. You know, Richard Hillier, too. Like, I didn't think that he was going to do that. And it, it was, it, it's so cool because, like, it's one of those things where it's like, it's nice to know people in that situation, and I hope I never have to call them. Oh, you know no what I mean? No and doubt. that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm never going to have to, like, I'm never going to reach out to you. If it is, I'm like, hey, like, look, oh, yeah. the roads are frozen. What road do I take? Like, I don't know where I go. And But but I, it's it's cool. I even tell them because I see, like, it, it's like a bond. It's a brotherhood. You know what I mean? And they watch out for each other. And um, I tell them all the time, like, I wish I didn't have a felony on my record because I would love to be a cop with you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't think you could pay me enough money to be a cop. No, nah, no, nah, it just know. sounded good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot. Respect. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad. A lot we, of respect. I, I'm glad we know the guys that are that, looking out. So that was us. cool. They went and checked on you, though, and made sure. I mean, <clears throat> you get a lot of love from Blux. I mean, you really do. Yeah. And, and man, I, what the thing is, is, you know, being your friend and, and, and seeing your art, you know, 
it, you, you just got to appreciate it. Like, I, I love uh, – me and Emily love spending time. I mean, you have to, too. Like, you see Nick's art. You just stay – You. Well, I, I spend about five him. minutes there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just like, hey, oh, that's my boy. Yeah, this is kind of proud because it's, like, really – And every time I'm checking it out, there's at least somebody else riding about to check it out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's always taking pictures with it, and that's it's cool. like, man, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, and it's <clears> – it's, I like doing this now, and, again, like – being honest, I love tagging. It was great, but I'm tired of getting in trouble. Yeah. For something that I love to do. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, this, if I can know, make money high off risk, of it, high reward if, kind if of that's thing considered and... selling out, then it is what it is. But right. it's like I ultimately I don't care if I make millions thousands or, or millions or yeah. nothing. Like I I don't care. I don't care about it. What you because love. for me, I just say, I just want a wall to paint. Right. Like, because otherwise, I was gonna do it on someone else's stuff that was gonna get painted over. See, if mom would have never, if mom would have just bought you a bigger alleyway in the backyard. Yeah, well, shout out to mom. Side. There you go. Why didn't you give me another one? So I think everything was, um, happens for a reason. You yeah, know? I mean, you know, and it does, and it's again, it's awesome. Like whenever Corey Christie, he he came to me and he uh, he he said like what the project was gonna be about. I remember hearing about it beforehand. I was like, oh yeah, people want to paint murals or whatever. Blah 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 blah. That's cool. Um, I never heard anything about it for like months. And then out of nowhere, I just get like a message on Instagram and it was like, Hey, um, are you still interested in doing this? I'm like, absolutely. Where's it going to be at? Well, we got it over here on Howard Avenue. Absolutely. I want to do it down there. Right. I want to give back to that spot just so they know, like, much hey, love. Like, it, it is like, Hey, like, you know, my bad. Like I, I, I grown up and it's, it, it was, it was a progress. It was an expensive progress, but now the next one that I'm doing is next to um, the Crest Building. Basically, it's that uh, axe throwing place, Skull, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to do oh, that's that coming. That's it's already coming. open. Is it co- it's open. Dude, isn't it's, it? it's I got a tomahawk. I've been having, man. We need to do this. We should take the pod there. Yeah, I, I got a tomahawk. So well, look, so check it out. They have. I walked by there and I saw like they have it. Like so far, like it looks like it's about ready to be open because they the even name have. Of it? Skull S K O L. If I, 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 I'm sorry if I butchered. I think that's what it is. I, see, I heard something about it was uh, going to come down, and then somebody said it wasn't, and then was no, there? it's there. It's it's okay. there. It, I mean, the, the light. I mean, like the the logo to it is already lit up and everything. So it's but it's the green wall that's right next to it. That big big wall. I've that, seen it. That's the wall that they want me to do, and it's of prohibition. And this is actually right now 2020. A hundred years ago is whenever they did prohibition. So really? I, shout out to Prohibition. Yeah. Look at us. Got that little caribou Just, pecan would you look for at you. Us? <laughs> Who'd have thought? Th- mm. Hey, and thank you, Scott. Not this me. Is, this is delicious, Scott. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this caramel pecan coffee stout. Yeah, I know man. it is stout. I know it would be mm. It tastes be like Liddy, Gatlinburg. Liddy, yeah. I like oh, it. Oh, we need the saltwater it taffy do, now. It does. <laughs> it tastes like Gatlinburg. This, a little this. Rip, Ripley's, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Slot in there, Case Cove. There Slot it is. in there. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> But it, it uh, that that's the next wall, and um, I, I think with uh, I actually was talking to Corey um, an hour ago, and he said that I was like, so what's the status with the paint? Like, how soon can I paint it? And he's like, next week. And I'm like, well, do we have the paint? And he's like, I need to get the tracking number and make sure it's coming through. So, so is that through his position with uh, which which organization? Uh, actually, that Main is Street. the Biloxi Main yeah. Street. So he asked me to be on the board of Main Street this He's year. He's doing a lot, And it though. was a tentative yes, I told him. Absolutely. So I think I might be on the board of that. <clears throat> that that's great. That's really good. I mean, we, we – we, I think there was nothing wrong with Biloxi. It was just – misguided maybe like I just took the wrong turn because honestly like if we had opportunities to paint stuff I would have loved to even if it was like a skate park with like cement walls everywhere yeah. like that would have been amazing and the thing is it's like you can always ever changing it like hey like I made a painted something yesterday Let's Matt comes over. through Matt comes through and it's not even like oh he went over my stuff it's kind of like look it's 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 a wall. It's yeah, a coloring wall. It's an wall. honor just to be there to it's begin a, with. Do your thing. And honestly, I would go there every single What's day. What's up on setting it up on some kind of schedule like that and being the front runner on putting that out there? That would be great. I mean, but it's just. I, Do I, we need to talk to Corey Christie about that? Yeah, I mean. Maybe like a painter's mm-hmm. union. No, that mm-hmm. would be awesome, though. That, they, that would be smart, though, actually mm-hmm. doing a painter's union. Because let me go to the story real quick when I first met Corey. Because I didn't know, you know, because we grew up with Lauren and. Um, so my thing when I met Corey was I'd go to Ocean Springs and he'd have, you know, teenagers, kids chalking the sidewalks in Ocean Springs. He would take these kids and these kids would like, and I was blown away, but he, he'd like get out on the street and, and Corey was always walking the streets and just checking out the community and like 
there's always something going on with Corey's round. Yeah. And I, I really believe in Corey when it comes to that because when I knew he moved to Biloxi from Ocean Springs, I was like, oh, big things are coming to Biloxi. Well, yeah. Clearly. I mean, he's, he's getting getting some – Wow, shake, that dude's amazing. Shaking up the coast. Shout out know. to Corey. Shout out cheers to Corey. I mean, no, Corey, sure. like, honestly. Yeah, bro. You're, this, you're awesome. It, it, it's, it was everyone else, like, but I know Corey, he definitely, he, um, he pushed it. And he's, he's I, I love, I love him. He's, he's a great dude. It's um, part of that new age coming in. You absolutely. Know, and, and we'll plug uh, making groceries for them. Yeah, for sure. And Lauren just started that yeah, up this and year. It's a family <sighs> business. So last year. Mm-hmm. Shout out. They're at Hops and Growers on Thursdays. Really? Making groceries. Yeah. Uh, Scott has her out on Thursdays at Hops and Growlers. That's awesome. So That's go awesome. eat some food there. Um, yeah, it's, it's, again, it's, it's very, it's awesome. Like I never would have thought. So like, they pay for all the paint and everything. Absolutely. Is it all part of a grant or is it something that they're <clears> it, it was, it was donations at first. Mm-hmm. And that's why like in, in the beginning, the first wall that we did, it was a, um, I had no problem going pro bono for it. I was like, just cover the paint. Yeah, you're still feeling guilty I'll about tearing it up. Correct. You know, I, I still need someone to help me do an expungement. Right. Hint, hint. <laughs> hint, hint. So right. someone, yeah, but it's, um, yeah, basically it was, um, yeah, it's that, uh, it's covered. It's covered by it. Yeah. They, they do the supplies. Um, but I, again, like I said, like it, right where it was at, that's a prime time spot. Yeah. And it yeah. was just cool just to do it. We're going to uh, take a short little break mm-hmm. and we're going to uh, reset this. So we'll keep the record running. Um, let's reset the cameras. All right. Take us a few minutes break. You cool with that? You better yeah. be cool with it. All right. Mm-hmm. Is that okay? Uh, dude, I like this mic. <laughs> so let's jump right in with, uh, hey, welcome back. And I think we're going to say this caramel pecan from Hops and Growlers is definitely hitting the spot. Still. Um, it we've slaps. Got a, we've got a refill. We've got a smile on our face. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's I'm so stuff. glad I'm here right now, Scott. Like, yeah, <laughs> Scott's gonna go. Hey, man! Like Scott's always like, uh, he's gonna see he's gonna see that glass and go wow because this is probably. I mean, I don't know. I know it's over five percent. It's definitely up there. Yeah, because he's like, I mean, all the names he adds. I just like it. He had this one called Billy Wright because Billy Wright was going through cancer and stuff. So it was my oh. favorite stout. You know, Scott's that kind of guy. He's like, mm-hmm. that's his buddy that loves a stout. He made a dope bourbon stout. Aged in uh, Jonathan Mazzano's barrels. Mm. He gets the bourbon barrels, and that's how Scott does some of these beers. And they're aged barrels. <laughs> uh, and he did one for his buddy. It's called Billy Wright. And it was, I mean, he just write like, he has to have a story behind all his beers. And that's why I really appreciate about that guy. It remind the beer that I was talking about earlier was Mystery Romp. That's what this tastes like. What, 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 way better. Absolutely way better. Yeah. Than, no, for sure. But that's what it reminds me, because I love Mystery Romp. But I've never even heard of it. Yeah, well, it's yeah. long gone. Unsolved mysteries. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So oh. speaking of shout outs, uh, what's your favorite kind of paint? Oh, dude. Uh, what's Corey Christie purchasing? Right. So he's been buying us Montana 94, and that was my first time using it at that um, at, at the last wall that I did, and I loved it. Um, no drips, nothing. Like, I mean, of course, it's all about, like, can control and the caps and stuff like that, but... Um, yeah, it's between, I mean, and some people say like you could still get Rust-Oleum is just as good. It covers in one spray, like Resto is good. Like, I mean, it, it all depends on, I've seen people do sick murals using like a 94 cent can paint and, uh, it, it, it all depends on what you like, but me personally, I like free paint, so I will use whatever <laughs> they give me. So absolutely. Okay. So Montana 94 is, is act, it, it's hitting pretty good. Yeah. Where can you get that program. at? Uh, spray plant, uh, spray paint, blah, blah, blah. Spray planet dot com is who he's been getting it. No from. local place. Um, no. Nah. Well, see, whenever you say local, I like to go to um, Hobby Lobby because they actually started carrying Iron Lack. I love them. Like that. That's good paint. That's really, really good paint. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm messing with you because I mean, there's Hobby Lobby last night, and there's a lot of like, I mean, it's shopping local is very important, but there are a lot of things that uh, local places don't carry. Mm-hmm. Like, they just don't care. You just, right. I, I mean, I go, uh, I try to, like, you know, any kind of camera stuff. I mean, there's there's right. certain things that you just, you know, that we don't. So, I could see paint like that paint he has. Because I just, I started kind of researching, like, what they have different tips. Right. Like, they have different tips. It's so serious. For I mean, everything. and. Yeah. For an angle or. Oh, or yeah. I mean, all of it. Yeah, it's <clears> crazy. All of it. I mean, they have, like, a fat cap that literally does, like, a dot this big. And it's really cool to do, to, like, do calligraphy with it. And then it's all about can control. It's all about it. Um, he's shaking. Just yeah, Michael J. Fox. Yeah, I mean, 
From from a start, like let's say, like your uh, Fishbone Alley project. How yeah. long did that take? Four hours to complete it. Yeah, like I mean, and literally, it, I came. <clears throat> they they were they were getting on to me because they were like, "Look, we need to we need to get this mural out. We need to do this now." I was like, "Okay, you know what? I'm going out there on a Saturday. I'm gonna draw it out with chalk, and hopefully it doesn't rain." And then it was Super Bowl Sunday, and it was pretty cool because like that was, it, it was it was kind of nervous, like a very nerve wracking um, to paint in front of all those people because people would come out from the bar and just sit there like. So you do like art and stuff, and it's like, yeah, and, it, and it's like, yeah, sure, you know what I mean? And, uh, no, hey. <laughs> no, 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 let's. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, uh, I'm yeah, sorry. Sure. Yeah. I, people I, in the alley. I, I, this is my laugh. Like it, when I get excited, I'm like, <laughs> I know your laugh. It's so many I different. Laugh. Laugh. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, <laughs> we need to use that for like one of our sounds. I'm serious. Yeah. Can we get that again? You like painting things and stuff, man. Yeah, so it, it, it's it's kind of like it was funny, but thank you. It, yeah, and and the thing is, is the guy was like, "Oh, so so you do graffiti, huh?" I'm like, "No, nah, this is no." I mean, and I think like just the term graffiti is is so taboo. It is. It is. I, I, I mean, say street artist. I call. I tell a lot of yeah. people like you're a, like I used to say until <clears throat> until I went to this dude's art show and he did some like. Uh, it was a Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. And it was, yeah, oh, I walked in yeah. and Richard was with us. I mean, I walked in and I was with my mom, brought my mom, yeah. kind of be supportive, you know, that was a, that was a good time. And yeah. I, I yeah. seen this painting of his and I was like, okay, he kept he, Cause he always said, I'm like, no nah, man, I'm a street artist. Like, and he was always like, you know, I'm a street artist, but he's just, I mean, he's got some canvases out there. Yeah. Not, it's, it's, what? It's, it's not many, not many though. Cause like, uh, I feel it's kind of like, Jen's I love, got a bunch. I love running. I love running. But I look at it like this. Have you, like, I love running the beach. It's great. It's beautiful. I hate, it's it's gorgeous. You know what I mean? I hate running on the treadmill. And that's what I feel like is a canvas is like running on a treadmill. Like, you're just stuck in, like, one little spot. And, yeah, like, I I love when my canvas is 18 times the size of me. I'm like, oh, hell yeah, I got to get a scissor lift on this shit. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, like, that, that's, that's. I like those way more than doing a canvas. So, it, 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 like, if I do a canvas, it's it's few and far in between. Like, and a lot of everyone wants a canvas, and I know you want flash. I know. Trust this me. is like five. This is so flash. like no, because like look look around. Like, if you look behind you, we talked oh, about it. That's uh, that's Jonathan Steen did that. My yeah. you know did my arm. Yeah. But he used his tattoo ink, mm-hmm. and he did me and my son. He did a great job. Yeah, that and he said, said, "Man, he said, you know, I did the, the leftover ink and did that." So. I just kind of like art to me, artists. Yeah, I, it's like having a piece of your art, and it's so valuable. Yeah, like it really is. Like everything's just is beautiful, and that's like my thing is you're the artist. You paint something, I like appreciating it. Like I'll just sit there and drink a beer and look at art for hours. I've well, been to a few shows. We used to have them down in Oxford. I used to work at them. But so sh- shout out to all today. the local artists. I love you guys. Yeah, let's get you guys on here. Cheers, this boys. Um, we're gonna have our email address available, so just uh, send us in a request. <sighs> And uh, we'll let you get in line right behind. Thank you, Mr. King. Mr. Nick. <laughs> get started on that guy. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. King. Yeah, Brian King. Is he out there doing karate yeah, somewhere? Yeah, he, he's at the dojo. Yeah, that's what he's doing. <laughs> Mr. King, what did he tell you? What did Mr. King tell you whenever we were Oh, uh, okay. So, look, man, I was so bitter about it. And it's like he was very – he was so about, like, get rid of your contour lines. Make sure you're getting rid of your contour lines. And I was – I, I hated. I I, I I love painting. I love drawing. I hate being told what to do. What to do? Yes. What to do? Like, give me, give me. Like, okay, I don't mind the fact that you tell me, hey, I want to do flash. I'm like, but you didn't say like, I want to do flash like this. Like, can I just do flash? Can yep. I just come up with flash? You know what I mean? So you're still giving me free range, but you're giving me a topic. It could be me at flash. It could I, be you. I'd rather do you as flash. That's fine. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you add Matt to it? He has to. Yeah. yeah. I want you as a Green Lantern, though. Yeah, I like it. I'll take it. Now, I, I'll go, you know, and say one thing I do appreciate is, like, he he is sticking to his, like, art is his thing. Like he said, like, he doesn't he doesn't want anybody to tell him what to do. He just wants to paint. Let him paint and let him, in his creative mind, it just blows up. And, I, I mean, I love the support you get now because it's really taking you, it's going to take you to a level that you've never seen before. You know what? It's funny you bring that up is, 
Marty Wilson. Okay, well, I, the one time, and it was when I was talking to you, and then you, you give him my number, and then I get a random text from this guy or whatever, and then he calls me. And he's like, hey, is this Nick? I'm like, yeah, what's going on? He's like, hey, I'm Marty Wilson. You know, I paint murals. I know exactly who you are. Like, okay, we all know who you are, Marty. Okay, like you're, you're very well known around here. I mean, and he kills it. Like, Marty is great at what he does. And he gave me some of the best, like, words of wisdom. And I talked to him. What only seemed like 30 minutes ends up being, like, almost like two hours. And he, the whole entire time I was talking to him, he was painting. He was painting the aquarium the whole entire time. And it, it, and that's what I thought was so funny. I'm like, wait a minute. Like, you, you're just so nonchalant about it. Like, and I, I get so zoned out. Like, that's why I love painting is because I was trying to explain it to someone not too long ago is that as I'm painting, I'm not even thinking about, like, the line or whatever. I'm literally thinking about, like, all right, so is it like, is it called eavesdrop or eavesdrop? Like, I'm thinking about everything. I'm thinking about everything in the world. And I love it because I'm the last thing I'm thinking about when people walk up and they start talking to me, I'm like, oh, it, oh my God, I didn't know you're standing there. You got me out of my zone. Dude, I was thinking about like NWO, like Wolfpack. I was thinking about everything else in this world. And I love it because that is my escape. That is that is what I do for me. So it's it's cool, like. It's very, it's awesome whenever someone wants to have a piece of your art. But I like painting walls because you can't take that off that wall. Nope. You can take a picture of it. You know what I mean? It's there. It's a free art show. Take it. You, you know, uh, Marty, when Marty does the, the murals, and he loves doing them. But, you know, it's, for for Marty, it's a lot of work. I mean, it, it is. And, 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 Absolutely. And then for him, it's like, I mean, <laughs> it, he, it, he doing these big murals, and it's like, because when he was doing the, the aquarium, yeah, uh, he was. I was feeding him because he's he forget to eat because deadlines, like you said, Absolutely. deadlines. You yeah. can't eat. You forget so about he, it. It's right there. Mm -hmm. So he'd come over and Emily would feed him. He'd be like, he he'd paint for fourteen hours straight, go to yeah. sleep. Paint yeah. fourteen hours straight, go to sleep. Paint, and he's like, he did it forever, and it just wears Months. on your body. He's like, one time he literally said, I think I forgot what the the month was, but he was a he literally asked me the date, and he was a month off. Because wow. he's a lot like you with the cell phone, where it's like cracked, busted yeah. screen. You don't really know. Right. Oh, I guess I like, yeah. I like life like, that way. Like, it feels have you like seen February. this screen? Show them how you good. show them how you work. It is good. That, that, that's a good screen. Yeah, your light has <laughs> been on this whole time. Yes, yeah. <laughs> draining the batteries. You know? <laughs> <laughs> See, it's like bro, you twenty five percent screen. There hey, twenty five percent. Oh, it just went right back on. So, right. Mind of so uh, <laughs> you know, and I when I so I have to really you know with with you doing that and and you to four hour this and so how. How many people have approached you, let's say in this last year, just to be a part of a wall now, like to paint a wall? How many people, I mean, just. Oh, God. A lot. And it's like you you, you, you want to say yes to everyone. and But then you, you, you kind of just being realistic. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to let people down. You right. know what I mean? I'm like, look, this is your business, you know. So let me, let me kind of just like. Let me be realistic about the whole thing. And it's like, you know what? Like, I, I probably won't be able to get to it. I don't know how soon you want it. Like, if you're trying to open your business up now, you might want to go to someone else. But also, it's like the whole work schedule. Like, I'm st I'm, I'm not a full-time artist. I'm not, you know, and it's, it's, it's my passion. It's what I do. I mean, and, and it goes back to what Marty was telling me. He was basically saying, you know, you're going to have a lot of people that are going to be like, hey, like, I want you to paint, you know, me riding a dolphin shooting over a rainbow with, with stars everywhere. And I'm like, I'm not that guy. Like, I'll show you what I paint. If you like that, I'll, I'll paint a painting. You know what I mean? And it's, he said, keep doing what you do. And then he explained to me that he's in the best place possible. He loves underwater photography. He loves painting. He loves beaches. He loves sea life. He's like, I couldn't be in a better town. He doesn't like shoes. No. Oh, yeah, I could see that. Doesn't like shoes. No. Uh, he that. literally... Imagine a imagine an artist like his sheets are, I mean they got paint stains for the all the late nights of just like crashing in bed because he's fall asleep. It's like I go into his house and it looked like he did a Picasso and just the sheets of all these different colors and stuff. He's like, and you see these hands. He li he lives the life like, and like I mean full that's time artist full, t full time artist and he committed. He did. So how many hours do you say was your average average call or or take? Euro, what do you think? It, said four on, on the one. That, that was four. That was basically four. And that was like, I painted for two hours and then I, I ate and then I went back for another two kind of like goofed off, but it was like straight up four hours of real 
squeezing down on the cap. And do you treat it like the way you run? Because I've seen you run before, and it's, I mean, it's fast. I, I obsess about it. I mean, it's like, you're, you're like the, a cheetah. He, I mean, he's he, like a cheetah. <laughs> he even brought it, like, Marty brought it up. He was like, so what did you do? Did it, like, did it was like, airbrush? Like what, like, what was it, like a spray gun? And I'm like, no, I, that's all spray paint. He's like, you're kidding me. He's like, have you ever used a spray gun? I'm like, no, sir. He's like, you would kill it. And I can only imagine because with the tips and all that, you can actually like adjust it to get like a really thin line or a really big line. And it's like, yeah, it's just little things. Like it's cool, like being able to stop and like step back. And then you're sitting there like looking at the painting while people are talking to you. And you're like, oh my God, like that eye is, is drooped down. Droopy eye. Yeah. Like, I mean, and you sit there, like I, I am my biggest like critiquer. Period. I am my biggest critic. I will. There's not one single thing that one person could say to me about my art that I haven't already thought about myself. That's how most pros are. And, yeah. well, and, and the thing is, master of your craft, I will, I will call myself are. out, and then people are like, "Oh, that's good." I'm like, "You don't see this, right?" And they never would if you wouldn't point it oh, out. Oh well, well, no, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm like, "Well, duh." I'm like, and then, then I get pissed off about it. I'm like, "No, you know what? We're rolling over this I whole can wall. With that. We're rolling yeah, over definitely. this whole yeah, entire wall." I, I, I mean, any that's that's any mastermind. Throw it all that's away. Creative, you're like that. Well, you you obsess about it, like the wall that the last one, the cassette girls in on Howard. I obsessed over that wall. That one actually took, that one took a while, but I mean, that was huge. That was a big wall. And then Hunter was there to record. So I had to wait on him to be able to line up our schedules and stuff. And then also with the, with the video, we actually shot it over three days. It was at nighttime. I shot that with a GoPro. And then during the daytime, Hunter was there and I had like, we didn't have enough time because he had to actually leave. So whenever we wanted to shoot again, it was another Sunday and it was, uh, it was rainy. It was a completely cloudy day. And I'm like, we can't put that in on the right. video because it was completely perfect whenever we shot it last time. During, so we have to wait until another beautiful Sunday. He's living in Mobile now, too, right? That's yeah. told me. Yeah, yeah. 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 30, he, he wanted minutes. to be here. How about you, Darren? Oh, no, like, no. Yeah. So it's, we'll uh, get him on soon enough. No, I, he needs to. He, he wanted to be here. He was actually kind of upset that he couldn't, but he had to go help out a buddy doing some stuff. But, yeah, he um, we, it was just we had to – I, and I love using Hunter as, as my camera guy. Like, I, I, that, that's that's my dude. And, again, it's so funny because we used to shoot videos whenever we were kids. Like, we would do stop-motion videos with our action figures where you keep pressing, like, pause, record, pause, record, and you just move them, like, a little bit and then just play it, and then we just have, like, He-Man walking across the table. By the way, this table, I always keep thinking that Chris Hansen's about to walk out and say, what are you doing here? <laughs> like, and I'm like, oh, God. Like, take a seat. I didn't do it. Take a seat. Right. You're like, have a seat right there. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I love this table. <laughs> I'm Chris Hansen. No, you're not. Like, so, but no, it's uh, w- but it's cool that he still does his craft, and I'm I'm doing mine, and it's it's awesome whenever we can come together, and that's how still how we bond. You know, like he's only off on Saturday Sundays. I bartend. You know, I, I work until like four in the morning sometimes, yeah. and it's um, it, it's starting to take like a little toll on me, like a little bit, just because of. All I want to do is sleep now, and I, and I hate that. I hate wasting my whole entire day. Tell me about it. As much as I, I love sleep sleeping, I don't sleep good. Yeah, but it's either. like uh, as much as I hate sleeping all the time, man, I sure do it a lot, you know. And 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 this, it, I, I really don't like that. I don't like that. But <clears throat> you know, like on my days off, like that's why I want to like wake up early, stay up as long as I can, run yeah. and run and just, run and how, run. How long do you run for? <laughs> um. Right now, my knee's been messed up, but yeah, it's uh, that. That's uh, running, running and painting is my. That's it. Like, Passions. Well, that's what's it, next for so. Nick Cook? I mean, I know you said we got another mural coming up to expect. Yeah. Um, well, well, we have other that. Other than that, are we going to try to explore some of those? Um, those, I guess, paint guns. What was Marty talking about? That actually would be really cool. Yeah. Like, I mean, I want. I, I like learning about everything. Like something that I'm interested in, I feel like you can't learn enough about. There's always something new, something, something just coming out, you know, and there's like a new technique or whatever, but it's, um, yeah, it's, I, I definitely like the idea of using a spray gun. And after he brought that up, you know, um, that, that it definitely interested me. Um, but yeah, he even, he even brought it like whenever I did the, uh, the last one at Howard, he, uh, he ended up telling me, he's like, you, you might want to get like a, a clear coat to put over it. And I'm like, I never would have thought of that. He's like, well, yeah. He's like, I still have to go over the one at the reef. Yeah. So, so X amount of months or Don't whatever. Don't forget to build that in. 
Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. You know what I mean? Spend a day with him. I mean, really. And it's, I mean, he's, he, he's good people. And, and it's we'll so cool. We'll bring him on here you know? and we'll have everybody on. He'd come on like, and, and you got a shirt. And you got a shirt. I already got a shirt, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Share that shirt. Oh, dude. Like, uh, we love you, Marty. Yeah, this is, I'm leaving the sleeves on. Don't worry. <laughs> ah, like, yes. I, like, no, that's, but that's clean, though. That's yeah, it is, Marty. It's true. <laughs> like, no sleeves. <laughs> no, <laughs> none. <laughs> no sleeves. Uh, this, this is the problem, I think, with, with, art school and stuff like that is there's no right or wrong way of painting something to me is everyone has their own unique style. Everyone's built with it. Now you could say like, Oh, well we're trying to do surrealism. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> that okay. good answer. That is, I mean, that's the, su- yeah. So what I'm saying is, it's like, I would never, if I was an art teacher, I would never walk up behind someone and go, well, you need to chisel their chin more. I'm like, right. Like, Give him a Jay Leto chin. Yeah, like, who my cares, chins right? are like yeah. this. Right, correct. Like you know, just because you got like a little like little Nerf ball chin, Mr. King, Brian King. Like, dude, uh, yeah. Why I did mean, y'all bring him up? Is he still around? <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, actually, I mean, I know where all my enemies are. I feel are like I feel like I feel like, uh, I feel like Vandal didn't really answer the question at all. I, 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 I run yeah. around. So what? He's running around. Okay, the question. so yeah, that definitely pushed me. Is is people? Honestly, okay. If, if you want me to, <laughs> it's I'm, I'm, I'm backpedaling. <laughs> is this? It's it's the hops and growlers is what. It is. Yeah. Okay. So, again, oh, cheers, cheers Scott. for the Scotty, my boy. Hops and growlers, you go to hopsgrowlers.com. Hopsandgrowlers.com. <laughs> you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, Gatlinburg. So it's um, <laughs> <laughs> smoky like Gatlinburg. <laughs> like it's good. It's it, it just reminds me of like Thanksgiving. So it's um. I remember after I had gotten in trouble and then they, they came and got me from school and then they brought me back and then the guy's like, man, we know everything about you. Like, man, I, I want to see like what you have. They slapped down this packet, bigger than that packet right there or whatever. And then I'm like, all right, so what do you have? They literally did have everything. <laughs> they had all of our pictures. And the thing is, is that. It's before Facebook. It, it, well, yeah, but it was MySpace, so it was, uh, yeah, and it was just as bad. I mean, but you just had to listen to my dashboard confessional song when you right. went to my page. So it was just like, Wait, cool. hold on, is that what you had playing? Oh yeah, no, like that's it was probably I don't know. I'm just imagining. Every, no, I'm thinking right now. We were all in our emo phase. Leave me alone, okay? Yeah. Still have a study. Did anybody belt. make anybody's top eight? Uh, you know what? I, I think I had a top three. Uh. <laughs> so it was, uh, but but I remember like as those guys were talking to me. And then I was circling everything that I did. And I'm like, man, like you really, I thought I was being smart by changing my whole entire name, not even using the same paint. We were stupid because we were the only group of five or seven kids walking into Walmart at 3 a.m. buying all this paint. So all they have to do is like, hey, let me just go run the tapes over there at Walmart and see if anyone's, bu- okay, well, it's the same group of kids. <laughs> and didn't even. <laughs> and 30 <laughs> minutes later, <laughs> Steinmart got tagged, you know, and then it's just, it was right next to it. So we weren't really smart about it, but I don't think that we really cared because I still had a blast doing it as, as much as my mom would hate me saying that. She paid a lot probably. <sighs> Well, uh, happens cheers, Ann. You learned the hard way. Thanks so much, you know. Ann. You deserve that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, think of where you would be if uh, none of that happened. You know, Life so, happens for a reason. That's right. Happens for a reason. Honestly, you know? I, I don't think that I would even be painting uh, now had I not have put in the work. You have to put in work. I don't think you can just like walk up to a, and some people. I guess they comes somehow, effortless they, 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 sometimes, or it seems like they're, it. They're, it yeah, it's I've seen like, like LeBron out there playing basketball versus somebody like that's been working their whole life. You know, he's just gonna make them look foolish. Working up to it, you know, it's you, you have to you have to put in work a little bit, and then other people like they they uh, after we got in trouble, like they quit completely, and I was just like, well, that's cool. But I, I always loved art, whether it was like I I, I like drawing no matter what, um, but. After, after I got in trouble, like it kind of was disheartening because I was getting in trouble for something that I love to do. So I was like, well, what am I going to do now? So for years, like I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything for a while. And then it was, it was self-meditation, um, drugs. And, uh, basically I ended up, um, I, I, I had a really spiritual trip and, um, Ever since then, I have I have painted more now, and most of my stuff is still writing out now than it ever has been. There's there's canvases, there's pictures that people still have. I mean, everything. It, 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 
Brian King, as much as I, I wanted to hate him for it, he was saying no one is ever going to get paid to to write their name on the side of a wall. He was going to watch me. Right. Well, it doesn't sell. You can add it into some art, but people want art that they can relate to. This is true. That's why. Back to our t- discussion earlier on correct. relatability. Correct. So it's and th- and that is one thing is is it's cool to paint a picture to where people are like, hey, that's Biloxi, hey, that's my hometown. You, you painted mm-hmm. you painted some of our history, like you know what, like props to you. And it was it was all walks of life that walk that that went there that like over the days that we were there painting, and it was so cool because everyone was like, man, that's really awesome. Like I like that. Like and 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 the 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 video that Hunter did, I think it I think it turned out great. Because yeah. it, we sh- we're gonna I, definitely I, drop that in the link. We're gonna well, definitely put a link in there for it. <clears throat> well, I I told Hunter I was like, look, man, I want everyone to be able to relate to this. As much as I love just seeing just straight gritty, just tagging trains and all that, not everyone likes that. Right. Some people just want you could probably just show them the finished product and be like, cool, cool, yeah. cool. Yeah. We're definitely gonna have the link in for the uh, for Hunter's video and, and Nick's <laughs> video, Vandal. So I mean, Hunter does great work and and he really did. Like he followed you, documented you. I mean, there's some storytelling behind there. It's yeah. I mean, and, and the thing is, is I, I told him this, like the way that we broke it down was, is like, Hunter, this video, if it's five minutes long, I wanted at least almost three minutes of the coast. It shows people fishing. Do you know the name of the channel and uh, the title of the video? Vandal Rise. It's uh, Vandal Rise Whoa. on uh, YouTube, and that's with a Z. And, um, yeah, he has he has all of our videos. Um, from the very first one, um, no matter how much like we critiqued it and ripped it apart, it was like no, that we have to leave that. You cool with me and Matt using some of it? Absolutely, tick, go for it. Okay, like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it's um, <clears throat> but but that's our thing is like you know we we obsess over this whole thing. Like I drove by, whenever I said I, I it took three days to do this whole entire wall. I drove by every single day looking at it, going, oh no, I gotta fix this, I gotta fix that. And I obsessed over it so much that I love that wall. I love it. Absolutely love it. I mean, yeah, like there's now like with my style, like it, your style will basically change almost every like six months. If you put your pictures side by side, you're like, wow, okay. Like I'm advancing. Like this is good. This is progress. This is growth. Um, but I, I, I obsessed over it. What, uh, what's your next move? Well, honestly, like I, I haven't really considered it. I, I, I like I, I like doing it at my own pace. Um, with that being said, is you know I've con- I, I've I've literally just dedicated my whole Instagram to, and I was telling Matt earlier that it's I I, I don't even show my face on it because my face isn't important. My art is. Got to respect that. And I do know, like that a lot. <clears throat> well, it's it's some people they like someone's art because it's them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like. If you don't like that style, then just say like, hey, I don't like that kind of stuff, you know? And, and it's like, don't just say like you like it just because of who the person is. Like, if that's not your style, that's not your style. Right. You know? I, like, and I can relate with that, uh, with some photography, you know, when I, when I would do the photography back when, we, <clears throat> again, again, we were all hanging out and we just, you know, grabbing my camera and doing photography of people. Right, just, right. And, and it was just because <clears throat> I wanted to cap, capture memories, but it was that feeling of, I, it's like, they're telling a story. Like, I don't know, for me, when I looked at people and doing in, in that way, it's like I'd captured. And that was, to me, it was like art. And I just got addicted to it. And, like, like and how do I want to increase and get better? But I could see that you're saying, like, I could see that you were just like, okay. Because, I mean, I would look, even when I did some editing on my photos, you look and you really do beat yourself up. And you go back and forth, back and forth. So, how many, let's say one mural, the one you did in Bluxy, the, uh right there by Way of Kraken. How many times did you change things? Oh God. <laughs> oh God, man. No, I, I hated, I hated myself. I hated like when Corey asked That's me, he was like, so yeah, he was like, so how, how long do you think this is going to take? And I'm like, Corey, I'll, wow. I'll let you, I was like, I'll let you know this right now is that whenever I start this, I, I want to finish it in one night and I know I will not be able to, but, but I want to so bad. And it's, I like the part of, Whenever people would come by, we'd have buddies or whatever come by. Oh yeah, it's all gone. Oh, we're good. Yeah, we 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 kegged it out, bro. Tapped it out. So it's Thanks, um, Scott. yeah. <laughs> so um, it, it it's, it, God, I kept going over at what felt like the same 
little octagon looking shape. And that's what I liked about that is whenever I was up close, it just looks like weird geometric shapes, but you had to step back and you're like, Oh, that was that girl's cheekbone or something like that. Like it's, I like that. I like when you get really close to it, you can't tell what it is. Yeah. And then, like the further back you get, you're like, okay, what, wait, wait a minute, the, the puzzle. But there it, it is. Yeah, but you know when they do that, I always wonder, like, because they're so close, right? Like, what are the, what's the magic trick? What are you doing that I'm some not doing? Of, some of them can do that, and they're, they're, they, they just tapped into that certain part of their brain where it just works different than everyone else's. You, it's good to step back and look at the whole picture, and you can use that within life. Yep. You know what I mean? But you can do the whole thing without even stepping back. Ooh, no, I, I, I step back. But, I, I, I mean, but I, could I, you? But could you, without trying to like critique or change the certain little things you talk about? But could you actually do a mirror? Close your eyes and yeah. see it. I mean, yeah, you can. We're talking sidekicks. You can't. <laughs> right. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically. No, you. You. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I. I believe that I could. But me, I would not be. It would. It's. Again, I think that's that whole OCD side of me coming out because I'm like, did I check that doorknob? Oh is yeah, you've seen us do it here. Is it locked? Times, just and I have and to check it five times, you know. And I know my neighbors at my like a house. They're like they're like, dude, is that guy tripping out? And I'm like, dude, I just I got to make sure it's locked. They're like you already did it. And I'm like, did I? I, 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 I do that with water that and water faucets. Like right, like it's <laughs> water so, faucets scare me. I'm a janitor, so, so I have to know, and I, I I have to step back. So I'm probably as close as I am to that wall is as many times as I am furthest away from it. Um, I, I have to know, I have to know it. And, uh, the end product, I think it, it with Richard, whenever I did Richard Hawthorne's, uh, I, God, oh, excellent piece. Yeah, thank I love you. That piece. Thank you very much. No. And that one, God, that was probably the most technical piece I have ever done. Thank you, Richard. But it was really, really technical because I knew whenever he came to me and he said, look, I want this picture done. Well, that's him breaking the world record. That has to mean a lot to him. Yeah, I can only imagine what that would mean to me. So I'm like, if someone's going to do it, I was like, there's a lot of pressure that he's not even putting on me, but I'm putting on myself that it has to look exactly like how I want it. And I, and, and it's so funny. Like I even told Richard, I was like, man, like after the first night I painted it and he comes up and I think Richard lives in the gym. So he, it's like, he comes out and he's just, he, you can tell he didn't even sleep. And he's just like looking and he's just like, all right. I'm like, you don't like it. He's like, no, I'm just, it looks good. I'm like, you don't have to lie. I was like, well, check it out. Check it out. What you see right now is not what it's going to look like. And literally it, it didn't. It, it's so weird because it was so choppy and just messy. And I'm like, I have to get this base coat down. Just trust me. Just trust me. And I said, if you don't like it, I'll paint over it and we'll do it all over again. I have no problem doing that. The best part of all of it was right after I got done. And I step down on the ladder and I turn around. And I see Richard standing there with his little hoodie on and his little little slide shoes or his little sock shoes or whatever. Water shoes or something. Is that yeah, what they are? I think they're water shoes. They're cool. I mean, I was I, I I always noticed them. That's how he lives. He like he lives barefooted pretty much. But he know? lives that life. He he he's, he he's a Marty Wilson. Like so, he's <laughs> when you think when you when you think deadlift, you think Richard Hawthorne. No, absolutely. It's and, crazy. And one of the most humble people. Just oh, yeah. I mean, like it's it, it's so cool that these guys that are killing it in the game are so humble and, and willing to help no he matter what. He spends, he, he spends a lot of time up here in this yeah. room. He's in this room designing. A lot of his stuff he writes is in this room, and that's something that I could really, as memories growing up, like it's just he's here. I mean, he really does. He's an intelligent person. He's very smart. You know, it's about angles to him and about lifting the right way. He's all natural. Mm -hmm. You know, he doesn't even like pre-work. I mean, he's still, you know, it is gym, but he doesn't consume pre-workouts. Mm -hmm. And he like he's a big into meditation and a lot and, and his music his taste in music it varies spot on I mean it's all over I mean me and him were listening to the XX the other day dude the XX is great I know but <laughs> we did the long version you know what I'm saying <laughs> outro <laughs> <laughs> the, dude but the XX is great I mean and, it and, is. That, and that's uh, it doesn't matter like it's I, I was really happy to do that for Richard but again like I said like it, ultimately no matter how what the comments or how many likes you get like on a photo it was whenever i turned around and got off that ladder and he's sitting there just smiling and he starts smirking and then he's just like hell yeah and i'm like that's now. what i need i wonder if he I went needed and that. i was like yeah. that's what i wanted to hear that's what i needed to see 
And it was, again, like, I was like, dude, you have no idea how much I'm obsessing over this. Like, and I would stay there. And it felt so bad because it's a 24-hour gym. So they would block it off a little bit, like, with with tarps and stuff. But you would still smell paint. And I just felt, sub, like, self-conscious about this guy that's trying to get his reps in. He gets out of work at, like, 1 a.m. OD and on paint fumes. Basically, and I have a mask on. And I'm like, dude, like, do I stop? Like, well, what do I do? So I would stop around four o'clock because I said, well, what time do people like the early birds start showing? And he said, around four o'clock. I was like, okay, I'll stop around four. So I remember like, I think I came around like 11 the first night, assessed the whole entire thing, worked until four. And then I was like, all right, coming back tomorrow. Um, knocked it out, knocked it out. And I was just like, as much as like, like people came by or whatever, wanted to hang out. I was like, I want to talk to you like I do. I have to do this. But I'm working. Th- this is, this is, I, 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 I have to, I have to, like, I have to see this image that I have in my head appear on this wall. And if it doesn't look right, I'm going to be mad. That's passion, man. It, well, yeah. and, and, but again, like, I love that wall. And it was so yeah, it cool. Looks great. Well, it looks thank great. you. Thank you guys very much. It's amazing. But it was the very next day whenever I, we unveiled it or whatever, and I didn't even really have to do anything. And it was just, Tag after tag after tag after tag. Like, check out this wall. Check out this wall. Like, random people were just, like, starting to hit me up, like, on Instagram and all that. Like, <clears throat> I, I, I like that. Which is where the fame and, starts and do to you have And do you have, like, a secret of, like, what your next painting is going to be? Your next mural is going to be? Your next <clears throat> art show? or Well, definitely not The Flash because he doesn't like being told. No, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll never tell you that I, <laughs> I want The Flash again. I've, I'll just have to just pop that out. Like, and that's honestly, like, what's going to end up But if you're going to do that, I mean, it's, he's got to be with. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the Green, green Lantern. Yeah. Like so, <laughs> um, no, we're uh, we're coming to we're getting close. We got about uh, about eight minutes in here. Um, so what's what's let's focus on like for us is like what what's your next goals? Like uh, you know, are you uh, staying on the coast? You travel? I mean, I know we've talked a few times, and you've mentioned Houston a few times. Yeah, yeah, it's Houston's always there. Um, I have family there, and that's such a big art community. Oh yeah. But I mean, but we're kind of starting to be like that. We are. And people like Corey are helping. And exactly. So shout out to Corey. He again. is, an, yeah, shout out Corey. Like Corey he, again. Corey just wants to see everybody paint. That's all he wants to do is see everybody paint. There's there's really no no problem with, with, with our area. It's just I think now that we have the younger age, people coming up and, and being more open-minded about it, that it's kind of like not all paint on the side of a wall is graffiti. You know right. what I mean? It's. It, it, I mean, now you say that earlier, I haven't heard that word in a long time. Yeah, you people, know that's something that's more stuck in my head from being a kid. Correct. From people like our parents. It's a and stick. It's, and watching those TV shows. Correct. And seeing the train. If you paint on the side of a wall, you did graffiti. It's like, no, I just painted Martin Luther King. Oh well, that's a mural. And yeah. I'm like, well, then you why did see, you why you did you call things. it why did you call it graffiti? It's like, well, because you use spray paint. I'm like, so is it the medium? It's it's all about your point of view, your perception of it. Um, my next move, honestly, is I really want to give back as much as I can to Biloxi. Like, and I've, I, I love being a part of this project. Um, there's a guy in New Orleans that wants me to do his apartment complex. Like, literally the building, the whole side of the building. Awesome. And it's facing, it's facing a playground, which is awesome. Like, I'll, and then he wants it to be New Orleans-esque. And that's all he said. And I'm like, oh, so, Okay. Like, I like that. It's not so much like, hey, I need, like, a green Mardi Gras beat. Like, very specific. Like, right. No, he's giving you a, uh, a free shot. Take I, whatever. <clears throat> Nick, cook us some New Orleans I, I Mardi feel, Gras. Yes. I feel like, look, if you know exactly what you want, you might have more fun painting it yourself. Yeah. That well, was a good answer. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, and I get it. You're like, well, I can't paint. Like, how do you know? Like, you already have it in your head. Like, yeah, Try. You know, I always say, don't be afraid to try. No, I like it. I do appreciate it. Um, so, uh, what's your social media handles? How can we find you? <laughs> uh, well, I, 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 I don't have a Facebook or whatever. Sorry, everyone that says, oh, I hit you a message. Ouch. It's an old oh. account. I don't have a password. Don't it's use Russian. it. It's, it's a Russian account. It's, 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 it's hacked. A, yeah, it's a hack. It's account. hacked, you know. It, um, but no, it's, um, I, I basically just use Instagram. It's uh, at vandal.nico. That's it. Um, I have Snapchat, same name. Um, but no, I'm more so active on Instagram and stuff like that. And 
I usually just post like the projects and things that are going on. Like I'm really excited about this prohibition wall. Like it's it's that one's probably going to be the biggest. Do, wall do we I've know done. Corey's projects? Uh, how we can people can view them? Um, yeah, we could probably post a link to him. I know some of them he did back when he was in Ocean Springs with the Walter Anderson Museum, and I know. He was at the Maritime Museum, um, so so he's easy to find. So we could certainly yeah, Corey take Christie. care of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'll, I'll, we'll try to get him on. You know, actually, I think Absolutely. I got a meeting with him here soon in yeah. the next week or two. Great guy to be uh, I sit on the chamber board with him, and then the, uh, he asked me, like I said, about the uh, the Main Street. But but anyway, Nick, we appreciate you coming on. Yeah, man, thanks man, a lot. Thank you guys. Um, we'll, we'll have you Very on again. Much. Yeah, so we're on. definitely <laughs> going to do part two. Uh, hh hey, we'll do, all right. Let's do be, it, man. To be determined on when that'll take place. But, uh, <laughs> Anyway, Thank you guys, man. Thanks, thanks awesome. for checking us out. That was uh, just another episode of uh, Kathy and Susie's Kids, and uh, we'll see you <laughs> next time. All right. Talk to you later. All right.